Hey guys, it's just Sasha. Today we have, of course, another Daily Darkness, as well as one of our usual features where we're talking about soda. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today. Today we're going to be talking about generic pop. And yes, I have already drank an egg, or drank a good bit of this. Um, this is Super Chill Classic Cola. As you can see, they got the red and the blue on there, kind of, you know taking a page from Coke and Pepsi both. Um, so anyways, outside of that, um, this is something that I got from Shop and Save, uh, that company that kind of took over Food Lion. Uh, so sadly, they no longer have Dr. Perky and the rest, and this is a replacement. Um, not a problem, because again, this is a 2.75 uh, liter bottle. Um, I missed three liter bottles, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, first concern that I have with this product is, is that the lids on this, I don't know if you can see that from here, are super cheap. Um, so if you happen to go to uh, Shop and Save, I would highly recommend to make sure that before buying the caps are secure because even the slightest little jar or pop, you're going to have lost soda. Um, for a generic, it's honestly not that bad. Obviously, we're not going to have the hiss on this because, again, I've already had some. Um, but anyways, let me put this in front of you so you guys can see it. Now, as you can see, I mean, it doesn't have a whole... Well, it does got a good little bit of a head to it, so that's not bad. Uh, the color is pretty much spot one for Coke and Pepsi, but like most generics, um, you can tell it's a generic. It doesn't have that metallic taste that a lot of super cheap generics have, which is good. Um, nor does it have the very bitter saccharine taste that you can sometimes get um, from places like Dollar Tree for their generic pop. Um, I'll review one of those sometime soon, kind of give you a better description with it fresh in my mind. Um, this has the very classic kind of cheap cola taste to it, as well as that cheap cola smell. Taste-wise, like I said, it's not bad, um, especially since you're getting like a 2.75 liter bottle for like a dollar twenty-three, a dollar thirty, depending on where you go. Um, again, it's not perfect, but if you want to get a cheap soda and you don't want to spend a dollar or two for a you know, 20 ounce cheap pop, just get this. I mean. It's hurt near three liters. You're only paying like a dollar twenty-three. And again, it's cheap. Um, again, that shop and save, uh, you usually don't get to find much cheap stuff. But um, no, this is okay. I would say on a scale of one to five, I wouldn't say it's a three. I'd say it's a almost a four. So we'll just call it a four because of value and the fact that it doesn't have some of the more generic nastiness that you get whenever you buy a generic pop as opposed to getting Coke, Pepsi, RC, or a Figo. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a fair cola, but again, it's not perfect, um, but it's not the worst that I've had. Anyway, so Daily Darkness, cheap pop review. Unpleasant screams and creep it real until next time.